Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the Four of Cups is really taking a moment to yourself to think about uh, what's going on in your life. And maybe you're feeling stagnant or maybe you're feeling a little uh, disappointed with, with your progress or where you're at. And so often with the Four of Cups, we take time out to consider things, to contemplate. Um, we may need time alone to really think about what's happening. What you need to be aware of is as you're thinking about what the status is of your life is to, you know, still be open and still use your peripheral vision to not lose sight of other opportunities. You know, you may be so focused on what isn't working that you might be missing some chances that can help you, you know, expand or grow or to feel a little bit better. There's nothing wrong with taking time to think about things and to consider where you are. But if you stay in that place, then it becomes counterproductive and uh, then it becomes more of just kind of feeling sorry for yourself. It's taking the information that you gather from this contemplation and what do you do with it? So I think we get a pretty clear answer when we see the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is about um, seeking knowledge. So it's learning, it's getting information, it's being excited about learning and devoting yourself to the study. So whether you're hoping to supplement your career, learning new skills, and you pick up a book or you buy a book or you listen to audio tapes or watch YouTube tutorials, tutorials to learn something, learning something that may benefit you, that may change your course. This is about hard work. It's this youthful excitement about pulling in something that you really want to learn about, that you really want to gain more wisdom, experience and knowledge. So your big ideas for the week, you're thinking about what's going on. It could be in terms of a relationship and a sense here of being studious, of devoting or doing research on what you need to address whatever is happening with the Four of Cups. Okay, so we have the world, Major Arcana. And this is a great card. You can see that she's sitting on top of the world. And with study and reflection on your part, you will too. Because the world, this is a card of completion. This is a card of feeling whole, of feeling very proud of what you've accomplished. This has been your own little journey. Whether it's been a big journey or a little mini journey, the journey now is coming to its natural close. You know, you've gone through adversity probably in a few challenging times, but you're still here on top. And so the world is really celebrating that accomplishment. It's a chance for you to have fun and to be um, proud of what you've done. So does this just stop? No, you have to think about what's next. What else are you going to bring to the world? What else are you going to share with the world? This is a card of feeling fulfilled and feeling content and feeling whole after your journey. And the journey is never easy. So that's something to think about. I think that's great. And you will have time to celebrate with your friends this week with the crew that understands you either after work or another set of friends or family. A chance to be with community. A chance to talk, to listen, to share to enjoy the, the personal interactions with people that keep us alive, that keep us refreshed, and keep us aware of other opinions. Or, um, you know, sometimes the simple thing that someone may say just makes you dawn, it dawns on you in a different way. You know, you take what someone else just casually mentions and you use it for yourself. And it can be very, very helpful. So I see that you have opportunities to have some fun with friends. Um, to share and to kick back and to enjoy. OK, 
Okay, so Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands looks like she has a, that looks like a lion behind her. And so when I see this Queen of Wands, first of all, she's imposing. She looks strong. She looks serious and focused. And the Queen of Wands is uh, passionate about what she does. Very, very capable. Very much in charge. Looking to take charge to use power for her own benefit or perhaps for the benefit of others. She's fair, she's considerate, but I see with the Queen of Wands that this is a week for you perhaps to network, to have some meetings or to get in touch. You know, there is this social component here with the Three of Cups, but the Queen of Wands is really, maybe you're working on personal growth uh, professional development, but there's a sense here of taking charge, of doing what is exciting for you, that stirs your passions, that generates the excitement within your life or your career. So here we go from the Four of Cups. We're not quite sure of what's going on, but we know that there's something there. Studying a situation, celebrating, feeling on top, and then the Queen of Wands, Taking charge, being in control, and feeling confident. Feeling confident in your actions and what you're doing. And uh, another uh, king of swords, another court card, and again, a master of, of intelligent thinking here. So not only are you using your charisma and your ambition and your drive, you've also got behind you strong thinking, analytical thinking, where you're able to use that sword to cut through surgically to the matters that you need to deal with. And uh, the King of Swords is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so we have this thinking here that whatever doesn't serve you, you're going to cut loose. You're going to get it off to the side. You're not going to let emotions um, take control of your decision making. And you're going to use your smarts to be able to communicate your ideas, to uh, come to clarity with whatever business or personal or you know relationship issues. And so it's really, again, I would say using your smarts, using your analytical prowess to problem solve, to make decisions, to make informed decisions where you understand everything that's going on. So, interesting for you, Sagittarius, of what is happening. Let's get a little more information. And this is uh, an oracle card and oracle card for a meditation point or focus area. The hawk Prince, spirit communication, paying attention. And I love that because the paying attention is really paying attention to yourself as well as others in your environment. You, you know, you're in control. You really have the power. This week, you need to take advantage of that power and spirit communication, trusting your instinct, Trusting the messages that you're receiving. And let's see what messages we have for spirit or emotional self. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. So I really like that. And it's changing your energy perhaps after reflection and after thoughtfulness and digging deeper. You know, you have success. You have fulfillment. You are ready for what's next. And so I just think you're going to take charge of what you're, what's next for you and you're going to run with it. 
And finally, let's choose a card for love and let's see what we have in terms of messages for love. The erotic. The erotic. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not, not quite sure what to tell you other than to find your own, your own erotic um, avenue and pursue it. You know, whatever works for you, then take it there. <laughs> so, uh, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I always appreciate that, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.